How they've managed to get a shopping trolley down there is beyond me. It's actually about four miles away, the nearest supermarket cross country. Right, bare rock. I don't know if it's sandstone. You might have to pause at home and zoom in yourself. It goes right down to the base of the river, so that, I think that would be a fault, fault line. Whether I'm mistaken, I don't know, but there is a fault line runs right through Manchester. You know, there's mines along it. I know they used to mine around there and get coal out from around there. And I don't know much about it, but that's death. That's just solid rock. That's what is the earth's made of, basically. You, get, you don't go down further than that. That's that's the car. And then we've got layers of soil on this side, haven't we? So that's if you if you can see the rock goes right down to the base of the river at that point. There you go. If you lived in um, North America, you'd know what I was talking about. So here we are today. Burr's Country Park, Manchester, UK, time capsule blogs, and I'm trying to film a little bird there flying around. Not done bad there, got that one. So here's the source of my pain. We're at the belly of the beast, as I said. It's Burr's Country Park, it's in Lancashire, UK. In the distance is a dirty great weir. And I was going to wear my wellies, and I didn't. I was going to just wade out a little bit so I could film it, but I just thought, ah, oh, no. So I'm just going to try and get up in the air. The reason I've come down here is to show you the stones in the Irwell. Big, massive stones. But the natural rock as well there, see. I'm going to try and get on the same level as the river. And that's where we're heading down from. I'm about to tell you a story about the train's electricity was surprisingly close to us. Not just coal and steam. So I just walked down a little bit. Walked down the river slightly. So we could get a glimpse of the wall to the guide. Remember what I said with the white tub that I made? Yeah, that ends there. Then that's just natural again. So that's built in. That contains the water, it fills up with water. Well, at the top level. And there's our weir. About as close as I dare to get, to be fair. I can do a bit of stepping stone, but that's about as close as I'm willing to go. The wall goes right round, and already you can see with two meters, we've dropped two meters already. There's already our first outlet pipe for something. All these rocks. As you can see, the water's at least two meters deep on the other side. And the well's untouched. The only problem is fish can't get up there, but that's what our generation has to suss out for the next. So Burr's Country Park, and I was saying it was natural rock, and there's a fault line. The natural rock on this side is slate. That's coming out from there, unless it's something that's melted and poured out. But well, that was like slate, well it is something that's melted and poured out of a volcano. Originally, years ago. All the hills in, along the Pennines were once mountains of course, volcanic. So I it must be fault lines. So that's red sandstone, as I said. So that's red sandstone, as I said, on that side. And this side is slate. Unless I'm very much mistaken. Unless it's a different layer down. I'm not really an expert in the rocks. I just know where they lie. Pebbles there. That's all, that's all bedrock from the river. So this is all the bottom of the river slate, like I say, and rock on the other side. So the Irwell flows down a natural fault, it looks like. There you go. And that's why the weir's so strong, as I say, it's solid rock on either side. So this is where we start. This is where the flow of water starts. All the way down to the end of the canal where it drains back into the Irwell. With hindsight, I should have started at the top. Anyway, there's the Irwell. Solid rock on the other side, as I said. 
going to do a bit of a dangerous shot now. A bit of a dangerous shot there. So I want to see the height. And to prove we're sort of in a shoebox shape that's been handmade by this black brick. There's no way of really knowing how deep that is. It will have filled up with silt and soil. But if you look, you can see the weir right through the water. I can anyway. And it's built just as long on this side, going in that direction as it is on that side. So it's a triangular shape. Got a key joint in the middle, so the weight of this water is pushing them stones together and into the rock on either side or the stone. So we're walking along a stone wall, brick wall, and this is where the guy actually starts proper. And last time we couldn't see this, and I'm so happy. We've come a long way, people. Manchester UK time capsule vlogs with Stephen Goddard. And there's our control paddles we got really poor shots of. And the fact you can walk all the way around. I'd love to know how deep that is. And get Peel Tower so we can get our bearings. Peel Tower and Holcomb Hill of course. That's where the train line goes that we're going to be following. So we're starting to blend in from the other end. We started at the train station, the Metrolink line. So here, this is the ancient bit that I always go on about. One day we'll follow that. We'll go up to um, Summer Seat. Some lovely, there's a lovely mill up there. And I'll show you the nightclub that is no longer. They got washed away by the floods in 2015. Washed an entire nightclub away. I was walking that night along the, one of the viaducts and I said to somebody walking the dog, the force of the water, it almost felt like it could pull the viaduct down. And I'm not even joking. You could imagine a double-decker bus or a train carriage being carried along in that river with no problems. The, the force of it was unbelievable. The rumble. There was stones rolling around on the bottom. I'm, I'm telling you now, it wasn't far off. That, that viaduct weren't built to withstand that. Well, I'm not going to get into anything like that, global warming or anything. I'm here to film the weir. So this is the start of our goit. There we go. I'm going to somehow manage to fit this into a link with railways now because I promise you, no more berry, we're off. I think it's Bolton, but the first stop's definitely going to be Radcliffe. Wish I had one of them laser guider things that you could work out. I'm going to get a submarine of some. I've got a camera that goes underwater and I just can't get it to work. I was going to tie a weight on it basically and just throw it in with a fishing line. See if I can film the bottom of the dams from this side, but there you go. Probably just give me an idea away. I don't care about things like that, because I'll do it better anyway. Right, I'm just getting some spit spots of rain. Spitter spatter, everybody in. No playtime today, you've got to do your own work. Alright, so that's uh, another... When I said there's a, a croft, that's what I meant on the other side. I was bang on, that model was bang on, you know, even though it were a bit... Reminded me of Back to the Future when the doctor's apologising for that model he makes. <laughs> anyway, I'll get the noise of the uh, wheel. Then we'll walk down in that direction. We're going to follow it down today instead of the wrong direction. And confuse ourselves. Yeah, we ran out of footage so early last time. I know it's a bit shaky, I've got to be careful of that, haven't I? But I want to just get the noise. And the power. What you can do if you just hold the water back a bit, the pressure and the weight of the water and how peaceful our little guy is flowing off. And this one causes the most controversy, to be honest. And it, you got the most out of it, the most power, even though that's just basically running wild, doing what it wants to do, I suppose. So, got some gates. Now, last time I tried to rush, but you can't really get them without being in the water or on the other side, and that's over there. Maybe we'll try that sometime, but... See the brick there? Full-size canal at this point. It's the width of a full-size canal, anyway. 
Right, and the other well's down there, we're two metres above it already. So we've got two metres of distance. Don't, you could do maps on that, I'm not doing it while I'm walking, but you'll probably work out how many miles you can travel with this. I'd estimate two miles for two metres, maybe that's it. Because it's 1.9 miles long, the canal's 15.7. So in total, we're talking like nearly say 18 miles worth of canal system, not including Salford. That's uh, 17 locks all the way down because we're higher up. It's totally level to Bolton, but we have to drop down into Manchester and we have to get there in time to meet the ship canal at Salford. So that'll be another one we can do. I only just realised they were rattling away, sorry about that. say we'll be going down to Salford at some point and we've got to go to Rochdale but we've got some interesting train information coming up we've got a train special I'm about to film once we follow this guy and that's the direction down that way Do you know what the more I film this thing the more fascinated I get you know what you get a bit fed up or you think oh what am I doing and then you, you realise that it, it just I want to know the history of this thing and what it does and where it belongs and then I think I'll be happy. <laughs> I just noticed it when I was younger walking along thinking, what is this really? And, that just built, and then I just started, you know, I found out one thing at a time. But I found out something else that's truly fascinating. It, it's about Bury, but it's also about Manchester. So as we're walking along, soon we will cross a railway. Um, sometimes I do say things twice, so once I get to the first railway station, that's the first, uh, like I call it, spoiler. Uh, I've got seven secret railway stations, or abandoned or secret. I've got an aqu aqueduct and the viaduct. We might not see the aqueduct and I'm keeping it top secret. Because I don't think you know many people know about that one, or they don't report about it. So. The last thing we're going to do now is show you where the goit splits into and then we'll make my way up to the railway stations. It starts up in there's Holcomb Brook, that was the main train station which hooks up to all the main lines. Uh, the next one down would be Green Mount. I can't remember for the life of me what it was, it was called something like Kingsley. Well we're going to find out, that's where we're going to start so we'll know what it is when we get there. Still following the guy, uh, Wells over there still. It's amazing to think that they built it, you know, perfect. So it travels all that way. Right, so I'm going to film the whole thing. What we need to do is get the aqueducts where this thing splits, and I'll show you the old town hall from Elton and where the viaducts leads from there's a viaduct that leads from Bury um, it's the Bolton Street Station it's Wood Hill Viaduct that then we got uh, Daisy Field if you remember Daisy Field the viaduct there is called Daisy Field Viaduct and Daisy Field had a train station so where we go up at Railway Street, and that's a train station, so that's our first. So there's three on there I found, I not even looking for them. All by using my own little methods that I do, capturing the trees, look. That's as easy as it sounds, I know you've got to know where you, you're going. I need to get some wildlife mate. Can't make it out can you? Might make out the orange beak. So we're still going off and it's still going down here. This will be an ancient walkway or ancient place. I think following the river tends to be where the ancient walkways are and the streams. So I hope we got that with the viaducts. And I got the lines mixed up. There's actually a train that goes to Salford, a train that goes to Bolton, and a train that goes to Manchester, uh, Victoria Station. So I'm interested to see where, what the deal is with the Salford line. I think the Salford line is the one that then links up to Castleton. So if you could go from Salford to Castleton and then on to into Yorkshire. So 
That'll be interesting to follow that line. I'm not even sure myself where it'll break off and go to ours. It might go all the way to Bolton and then to Salford. We don't know that yet. But there's three separate lines that are all, you know, parallel to one another. Right, so we've seen this bridge before and the chimney's there in the background. I don't see any signs of our heron friend. Right, the next thing's the aqueduct, my favourite thing. So we've got quite a lot of uh, bright light. Peel Tower is on that side, Holcomb Hill. It's almost like we flipped round the bridge there I came over before. Another bridge here. I'm going to follow this line down here. Corner over here, the wind's picked up, there's a storm coming. Look at this old wear of. I don't know if I've seen this before. So this is where the, another water wheel would have stood at some point. There is now a, a lake over there. I don't know if that was part of the mill system, but this is the other end of the guy. It flows off down here, another well, weir or dam, whatever you want to call it. So that's older, you see. That's like cobbled stone that they use in the streets. There's a little pipe coming out of the wall, I don't know where that comes from, oh, that'll be from the... So it's filling up a little reservoir there that they use for training people in canoes. And that comes back out there, so it's still, they've pinched the system, the idea. That's, and it's still going all back to the Irwell, all perfectly harmless. So that's part of the mill over there, I think, that's red wall, chimney. Chimney! And then there's all the brick in there. And this powers a water wheel. You don't build a weir for no reason. That would have been sat in there, I bet there. Look. Or it pours into there and does something. There's stuff over there, but I'm not going that direction. we following the guy, I'm sorry. It would have flown in there. Or out of there, maybe. You got to, it's so hard, it might even, that's a window. It might just be a window to make sure your wheel's spinning around. So there's a wheel sat here somewhere, I bet. There's a fitting in the middle there, or there's something going on, isn't there? So we never saw that part earlier. Following it down, down, down. We saw that bit earlier, and we saw a bird in there. Massive iron lock gate. So basically the mill owners are splitting the water between them. That's it, I've sussed that out now. They probably paid half each to have this part fitted, maybe, I don't know. So it goes off there which we didn't see before over a weir and it comes under this bridge which is an iron it's iron yeah it's an iron gate that you can be adjusted up and down if he's having too much water and he's not got enough there you go oh well, we've got a beautiful shot because we're at hd i know the quality's not perfect but we have got a beautiful shot straight down over the aqueducts this is what it's all about. So back in the day, I like the water sounds. There's the old weir. I can put a date of around, I think it's 1830s, 1840s, these mills were built. Uh, they're, they're quite late. The Industrial Revolution sort of ended as quickly as it started. But it was right up into the 19, you know, 1900s, I think. But it shut down, as, you know, people were out of work like the coal miners were in Wales back in the 80s. You have to search coal miner strikes, Margaret Thatcher. There's another interesting history point. So our other channel goes off that way and over a bridge. We're going to follow that back round when we get to the section and then loop back round. So we're back on here. And we've come down from the main weir and we're flowing into this channel. We're following this channel. That channel ends up back in the Irwell. It fills up some small lodges and lakes and reservoirs and then it enters back into the Irwell. But we'll make sure of that. So we're going to follow this down now, all the way. The storm. Ooh, Ben, Ben. Remember Gentle Ben? So he's like his pet out in the hurricanes. I'm just going to go for an elevated view. find it's quite cool 1800 
finished in 1803. So this whole system, I think that the weir was in place in 1790, 1780, as old as that. I know you, you wouldn't think it was that old though, would you? It'd been replaced or you need cranes or modern equipment. But you can see by its age, you can see the stone. It's like a, when you go see a castle in Wales. Get out of moat, not only it's all corroded away. Okay, get another shot in a minute from the other side. So, this was the shot I wanted last time I was here. So, we can see the road for the cars, the other crossing for the guy. I've got little ducks playing in my aqueducts. Uh, well, down that side, chimney, modern day vehicles. So, it's recreational. First Country Park, it's housed three mills. One was part of the uh, Castle Thieves and was a water power mill. I've no food guys, but thanks for being on my vlog. I don't want to scare them, I think they've got quite a young ones. They're not babies, but I don't know if you know about birds, they tend to grow into adulthood in about six weeks, so I won't disturb them in a storm. That's a bit silly, isn't it? So. We're looking for overhead power lines again. I do know that we're out in the country, so there is overhead power lines, which isn't normal, like, you know, on this scale. But the electrified railway, which we're about to visit, if I can get through the wind and you can hear me, in fact, we'll just film this and then I'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> we're going to do it all as one blog now. Manchester. UK time capsule vlog with Stephen Goddard. New, new, new outfit because we're going on the trains. Yeah, we're moving to the trains. Um, and I found out something astounding, so that's why we're going to move into trains. The trains around here were electrified from 1913 onwards. They had trams around all the streets for 50 years. So if you think about it, it's a bit like the modern Metrolink, but around. It was um, a prototype for a wealthy person who just started investing in electricity basically when it was first discovered and they realised it would conduct along copper wire and they didn't go with Tesla's proposal of just firing it through the air at random thankfully but Tesla was apparently a genius so I don't think I'd fancy one of them conducting towers in the middle of my front room though do you? So electricity comes out the guy says, I'm going to electrify the line right through, when we're going to dig a tunnel right through the Peak District, right, and that's already completed, it's all been widened, and that's going to be electrified. Electrified, you know, so, so we don't go from steam to diesel, we go from steam to electricity in Berry, which is quite, you know, only New York, I think, at the time, and probably Paris had electrified tram systems and train systems. So from Holcombe Hill, which everyone probably thinks of as Hillbilly, or and I don't mean to be rude, I mean, this is people's personas, I'm sure nice people, just like everybody else. Uh, it's, it's a country place, isn't it? I know people from Rams Bottom, it's a really nice place. I hope I didn't offend anyone, honestly. That's what people might think, you know, the, from the country, basically. But they're not, they're just as much, you know, the Greater Manchester, they're just, you know, they're with it nowadays, you know what I mean? Most people are. So, electricity, electric train line from Holcombe Brook all the way into Berry. So yeah, an electrified railway. From Holcombe Brook, which we might think of as a farming town, Peel Towers just sat perfectly there. Hallmark, got the word right. Landmark. There we go. So we've got Peel Tower. So electrified train coming as far as that, that goes all the way to Bury that I know of, with an overhead system. So that's your, that was the prototype. Then they changed that to a third rail system, like they have in the underground systems in Paris and London and New York. So we were one of the first to have one of those systems as a prototype. That's basically what it was, because that line was disused. Yet another rally driver who's pretending he should have been home. A long time ago, he got stuck in traffic, I'm sure he did. I better not film his number quite, I'd have get him in trouble. Anyway, I'm only having a joke. My dad will like that, that's why I get that. Anyway, guy, we're back on the guy, we're still following the guy, still goes along all the way. These modern houses, this is an old cobbled road, not a cobbled street. 
So this is a cobbled stone street just basically laid on the road. Don't know what history is to this one or how old it is. So the electric train line with seven stations and they call them halts. So there's Tossington Halt, Sunnywood Halt, Kirklees Halt, Knowsley Halt. I think I've only missed two out and that's not bad to say I've not got my notes with me. Imagine it, 1300 kilowatt line. And I've got a feeling that ran along to Salford. So this guide system follows that straight train line all the way to Salford, I'm saying. That's where we were at. So there's a chance this guy flows all the way to Salford. Then they've used that existing line to build the train along it. Well, we're going to find out, aren't we? Just cannot get to the end of this guy. It just, it's unbelievable. I'm glad it, cr it crosses over where the train line meets. So, we'll see where the old train station for Woodhill was. I think I named six now. So a private house there, I don't, I don't like filming private. Some cows over at the back, they're the ones that should have been in the farm earlier. Right, so there's our guy. We're going down the line, remember? There's the black brick again. So there's something built here, so you can get across the road. So that's our, an aqueduct under there, isn't it? Oh, it's a bridge of some description, but it's been, it's our first structure to channel the guy. the other side, doing something we shouldn't really do. I'm saying no more. Just so I can follow this guy once and for all. So it's gone under that road. That's the road that leads back to Elton. There's a little pub there, a country pub called the Garsdale. And it goes round here, down all these trees. Yeah, so 1913, the electrified train lines put in. So we're going to walk up and down those lines. Got one more viaduct to show you, which is a little secret gem. It's part of the electrified train system. So there we go. There's a little bird there. If he wakes up, he could go for me. I don't know. He's a bit shocked. So it goes off over there. I'm not going to attempt a war with a bird. Goes off over there and it goes all the way round to where it meets the train station. I'm heading there now. We've already been down to the end of the lines anyway. <laughs> 